There are thousands of DOS games. Most of them are terrible. I play one selected at random with a 20 minute time limit and record it live. This is the result. Raw Entertainment presents... An... Something production? I can't read that, it's like a black metal t-shirt, you just, you can't read it. Some interesting sounds in the background. Not much in the way of screen. Ah, there we go! Blind? Justice! Alright. Let's get cracking with Blind Justice. So, we can either view the introduction, create a new character, journey onwards, or leave the realm. And there's little signs for the menu. That's nice. Let's have a quick look at the introduction, shall we? The nightmares have come again. You lie helpless, frozen in a fury of cold disease, numb and cold, violently abused by your senses. Uh-oh. Is that all the introduction we're getting? Paralyzed, unable to move, you taunt the elements of consciousness and insanity. And then they take you away, stripping from you the only vestiges of life and humanity. Okay. I mean, there's, there's interesting effects on this introduction. Okay. Visions begin to sting in your mind, needles piercing the soft flesh of your brain, searching for something that you cannot conceal. You squint, trying to keep away the memories, the visions, the apparitions, which repeatedly attack you, haunting you, consuming your identity. The apparitions visit you in your dreams, sullen reminders of a past not forgotten, and they vanish as though fantasy. Pain, regret, Night after night, this terrible influenza strikes hatefully at your mind, begging for answers, begging for a purpose. Each new dawn presents you without answers, alone in a cold cell, amnesia, no past and no future. The spirits in your head cry out to you in pain. They are without fulfillment and without honor. And then, someone takes you away from the madness. Without strength or motivation, you are easily cast away from everything that was familiar to you. Your weariness slowly wears off. The horrible phantoms of your nightmares die away, and eternity passes as you lie on the ground, drifting in and out of consciousness. Well, that was an atmospheric opener, wasn't it? I guess, since there's no... Uh, there's no learn how to play or anything. We shall create a new character. I feel like I've had a experience there. Oh, is this the is this the intro? Um Yeah. <laughs> or is this different? Now, this looks like the same sort of intro. So we watch the intro of the game and then we hit, you know, play the game and it's playing us the intro again. Okay. But, you know, credit to it, you can just space on through with the space bar. And now it appears to be loading the in-game engine. There's no escape. And so it is that you awaken. Your horrid nightmares and disorientations have deposited you onto the cold and dank floor of an isolated room. Shall insect-like creatures slowly move through the pulpy... Oh, small, not shall. Sorry, the font size is interesting. 
Insect-like creatures slowly move through the pulpy ground, perhaps in an effort to examine some fresh habitat. You quickly rise to your feet and kick them away. The room you're in certainly requires some exploration. Okay, so our player appears to be controlled by the mouse. There is a contextual mouse menu. That's nice. So you can examine the environment. Wow, he moved quickly. I thought because this game was from 1995, I'd, I'd set the cycles count appropriately. Maybe not. Is that a uh, sort of what is thing? Can I click that? Canteen on a road. Let, let, let's let's take that, shall we? Okay. Oh, what's happened there? What what if? Is, is there an inventory system or something? I for inventory? No. Uh, oh! Okay, there's our bag. And there's a window-based system here. So, if I can close that, I close that, I can get back to this. Pick that up. Right, how did I... How did I uh, do that? Did I click on the character? I did. Right. So, that's the user. And if you right click on him, you can get a, uh, a screen of sorts. Of an interesting window system, which I haven't quite figured out yet. You right click on the window to place it. So, there's buttons which say go what attribute uh, maybe to use an attribute or something I'm still trying to figure out the, uh, the inventory here there's a map sort of like Ultima Underworld some sort of journal let's uh, let's venture forth and see what happens uh, can we can we look at that not much going on there straw bed with a blanket it's it's a bit Ultima like you know like a sort of cross between the Stygian Abyss and maybe Ultima 8 what is this place a collection of scattered debris and waste lies in the center of this room some people are gathered to the north of this festering collection it appears that they are involved in some sort of discussion one man who is a bit taller than the rest seems to have been slightly injured Whoa. Uh, can we, can we, can we, can we talk to you? No? Apparently it's too cold. A strong man. That's all we know about him. Ah! Oh, my god. That was the combat system, folks. I, I don't know exactly what happened. As you can see from like the flames and stuff, the cycle counts a bit quick. The combat's in real time. You appear to like click on them or something. Well, I, I just done killed a guy. A dead corpse. Great. Some more random people. Um, the combat music hasn't stopped. Don't know about this art style. So he's thirsty or something. Wait. I, I have a canteen, don't I? There. So, uh, how do I exit out of this? The X button, James, the X button. And there's nice can contextual uh, cursor. Ah, oh, for God's sake. He yeah, he's he's killing me here. Oh, well. And uh, the game exited out. So, uh, that was Blind Justice. Um, 
it it looks like a sort of weird sort of almost homemade style independent shareware RPG um, I'll, I'll put the main menu over me talking here would I play it again um, I'd need to read a manual in order to understand anything that just happened to be honest with you uh, but if you're really really big into RPGs and you haven't sort of uh, got any others to play sure give blind justice a shot it looks you know competent it, it, it didn't strike me as particularly terrible so it's got that going for it I guess and if you enjoy me randomly clicking about and trying to figure out control systems I have hundreds of other DOS games that I've played through feel free to take a look and if you like hit subscribe Shirio.